Morning, everybody. Welcome back to the next part of evaluating expressions. So I told you guys I was going to infuse it into a word problem, but I kind of broke it down a little bit more. I want to make it something that were um, more challenging, um, like a, a really higher order thinking question that we're going to re you relate to. And I'm going to give you guys the basic introduction, and then I want you to see if you guys can apply that in later the week when we do our live, uh, our live Zoom um, feed and go over with the whiteboard app. You guys can show me what you came to a conclusion or you can just email me and submit me what you think you got. So let's look at these two expressions and I'll also email this to you too. So if you had trouble, you couldn't see the video for whatever reason, you can also see um, the same exact thing as I put it into a Google Doc for you. Okay. So consider the expression. So one expression I have is 3x parentheses x minus 2 close parentheses plus 2. So that's one expression. Okay, the second expression is 2x squared plus 3x minus 12. So you have two different expressions here. And what I'm going to ask you guys to do is evaluate it two times. So the first time I want you to evaluate it and take, so again, this is what we're doing with the unknown number, right, and the variable. So as you guys are looking at this, we're going to take the 2 and put it in replace of all the x's you see here. And then I want you guys to do the same thing for the second equation. And then as you guys are doing that, sorry, just make sure this is recording. Okay, good. And then as you guys are doing that, you're going to do the same thing with the variable 7 and x and replace that with both and see if they're equivalent. And if they're not, I want you guys to try to demonstrate what is happening with the unknown values. So just so I can set it up so you guys can see um, what we're going to do first. So 3x, so you're going to write it. You're going to do... Substitute all the x's in both different equations with the unknown value, which is 2. Solve it and see if they're equal. Do the same thing with the both equations and change the uh, unknown value, which is x, into the number 7 and see if they're equal. If one of them happened to be equal based on a number, explain your reasoning. If it's not, what could you do possibly to change to make it equal? So just to show you the introduction of how to write it, this one's going to be 3 x. We're taking the x on the number, which is 2. So parentheses 2, right? You don't want to put 32, parentheses 2. Then, again, keep the same number. x stands for what? So we have parentheses inside, which is 2 minus 2, close parentheses, plus 2. So it's a lot to look at. And, but again, this is, where, this is the challenging part where I really want you guys to think back on what we previously did. So you're substituting all the numbers. So 3x becomes 3 uh, parentheses 2. And then just as we follow along, and again, don't forget, a number next to parentheses always means what operation? Multiplication. Okay? And then just to show you guys how to start this one, this would be 2. x stands for what again? Is the unknown, which is 2. So 2 parentheses 2 squared plus 3. We have to find the unknown number, and in this case, we're sticking with the same number, which is 2. Make sure you close parentheses, because if not, it looks like a 32 minus 12. Okay? So, yes, as you're looking at this number, there is a lot of different sequencing and as equations written, but this is the challenging part that you guys really need to think and how it applies to multi-step. You know, think about how you can use that to really, to like put it into your own kind of word problem. You know, if you're home playing video games or you're looking outside and thinking about everything that we're coming across and happening, how can you use that to replace the numbers with something that makes sense to you in a form of video games, food, um, TV shows? Think about that how you maybe can convert to help you write the problem to solve okay and then you're doing the correct order of operation so again it's not easy this is a very challenging different process but I want to see what you're thinking of and what your reasoning is how to solve it's not just a one-two step it's a multi multi step that you're going to have to figure out so again just to retrace um, and work backwards it says evaluating the expressions consider the expression 3x parentheses x minus 2 plus 2 and then 2 x squared plus 3x minus 12. I want you to substitute all the unknown numbers for x for 2. Rewrite the equation, and then I want you to solve and see if they're equal. 
And then you're going to erase all that again, and then you're going to do the same process, but instead of doing the unknown x for 2, you'll do the unknown x for 7 and see if they're equal. See what you saw. See what step maybe you're getting on when you're doing the order of operations. Are you getting stuck with the uh, exponent? Are you getting stuck with how to do the different step process? And just think about that. So when we do do this live Zoom and then you guys can submit it on Google Docs, we can see and work with one another about what you need to do to transition about how you can apply this to real world scenarios because that's always the main thing the more you try to apply it to a real world situation especially what's going on now in the world with COVID-19 you know you can think about this in relation to people and counties and how are you going to express that and think okay well now it makes a little more sense because I can put myself into this situation and just instead of seeing a bunch of numbers that you're trying to apply and do the calculations so it's just something to think about and we'll move on when we're doing different you know open-ended multi-step problems so you guys can truly see the different values of how everything works and it all makes sense once you continue to substitute the unknown numbers for the variables that are given do your steps and everything. So again, I'll send this on Google Docs, but I want you guys to really think about, this is a definitely, this is a higher order thinking question about how you're going to consider the expression, compare with the different variables and the unknown numbers, and then apply that in the problem. Because again, there's a lot of different problems you're doing. You know, you have parentheses, exponents, you know, another multiplication, you have addition, you have, you know, squared, you have all these different things, subtraction, addition, so it all applies, so take your time, follow through, and then when we get together later in the week, we can see if you guys can apply this, and we'll see, and again, if the statement's true, make sure you guys continue to justify why you think it's true, how you came to that conclusion, show me your steps, and if you think that one works and the other one doesn't, or vice versa, again, justify, what are you doing to get your answer to show? And then we'll continue to work with that, and we'll reach an inclusion, and you guys can see how we can continue to apply this. Okay, have a great day. I will talk to you guys soon.